In today's episode, we're going to be opening and reviewing Nsaber's NeoPixel Temple Guard lightsaber. We'll also talk about the difference between NeoPixel versus emitter blades and showing you how to do this. Better stay tuned. This is your Geek Fix. It wasn't that long ago that we reviewed another lightsaber, but this one's a little bit different. Uh, that was an emitter lightsaber, meaning that it has basically like a flashlight in it or a bright light that shines up into the blade. And the weaknesses are that that blade uh, it will light up only about so far at its brightest, and then of course it you know gets less bright the higher it gets. NeoPixel is a little different, and so. Uh, recently, Nsaber sent us one of their lightsabers. This is the Temple Guard lightsaber, uh, which is fairly popular. And uh, so they sent us to us to uh, check out. And once when I can figure out a good way to get inside of it, uh, it was also a good opportunity for just to show you more the difference between NeoPixel and uh, emitter lightsabers. The last saber we got uh, came in a box that was also the shipper. This one looks like it has a separate shipper. So on the inside, it has the box kind of protected. Look at that. So, uh, oops, there we go. There's our Nsaber logo right there on the uh, side. And uh, then, also got the logo up here. And then, on the inside, I guess I can just open it up straight up. So when we open it, oh, nice. I see a similar box to what we had in the other lightsaber, a, a kit, a uh, box that says toolkit. And uh, when we open that up, on the inside, uh, oh, looks like we got the tip for one of our blades, maybe? Right here. And then, put that right there. Then we got USB cable. Uh, we've also got some of these little nubs for tightening things up that we really need to hold on to and keep good track of. And then we've got some gloves. This thing's nice enough. It comes with gloves. Uh, so, so I've actually got nice gloves to be able to put this together and try it out with. I don't know if this is, I guess this is what they all come with. I don't think this is just so that we review it. It'll stay, it'll stay clean. I know with our last one, it turned out to be a bit of a fingerprint magnet. That was from a different company though. Whew, a little tight for my fingers though. I do have big fingers, admittedly. And uh, this is coming from Asia where I'm always a bigger guy. But, whew, there we go. I got my, got my hands here all gloved up. So next, we've got our lightsaber itself right here, uh, which is pretty nice looking as I slide it out here. Um, now here's the thing about this. When I looked at the pictures, I wasn't sure if it was plastic because, you know, the downside to white and shiny is sometimes you can think, oh, that looks like it's like it's plastic. Uh, this is not. This is all metal, 100% uh, metal. Uh, all the parts are metal like our last one. Um, and uh, looks pretty awesome, actually. Has great detail on it. I think, now, if I remember right, the Temple Guard has also the double blade, uh, don't they? <laughs> on some of them. This one is a single blade that will be fitting. Um, oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool right there. Um, but at any rate, it looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. So good. Uh, the speaker, it doesn't stand out too much as being a speaker either. Fits nicely into the form or the look. All right, so that's it for the saber itself. I'm gonna put that right there for a second. We've got our instructions here, uh, which is also similar to the last one, actually. Some kind of paper, really nice quality. Tells us everything about how to charge it, to operation and other features. So quite nice. On the other side, shows us more about uh, not just this one, but also other sabers that they carry. Doesn't recommend use with under three years of age. There's also a display stand that comes with this one. Look at that, display stand. The downside of these gloves is I think I think they weren't meant for, <laughs> for 
for putting the whole thing together. So far, not too bad. Normally, I have to deal with this stuff. I've had just awful, an awful time with it. So, woo, look at that, huh? Not too shabby. A little stand there, plexiglass stand. And that means also I can like sit it like that on there, I guess. The last part we have is our blade, which this blade is also wrapped uh, pretty nicely. Let's see. Nope, not too bad, not too shabby. And then uh, I think I got it all. And then of course pull off that little end piece. I'll put that over there. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this stuff. I'm gonna put it to the side for a minute. Oh wait, there's one more piece. Oh, something really cool actually. Now, it depends on whether or not you want on that stand for it to say the type of saber, the saber brand that you got. But you do have that option. You can either leave it the way I have it right here, or on the end of there and drop it down. Just like that. So now we got the sabers, which has kind of a laser different color thing going on on it. It's hard to see on the on the camera. So now I'm gonna get my uh, directions out here on my charging method for charging it. Right here. Here is my area for charging it right there. And uh, does this one have an SD card? My, like my last one? Uh, looks like this does not. There's a similar battery in it though. So, I mean, it looks like it does take kind of a similar technology uh, to many of these different ones. But, uh, nope, no SD card that I'm seeing in there. Nope. But, that's how I would charge it, if I needed to charge it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to actually charge this or if it's already charged. Uh, I know how to do it with some of the other ones. I would guess that it's already charged. I push the button. Now you remember this piece from earlier. Uh, this is for our display, basically. Um, so when we don't have the blade in here, uh, this piece slides in, and uh, I just want it to go in just far enough, and then using my special screwdriver here, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that. Perfect. And then, when I turn it on, you can see that looks pretty darn cool, does it not? Uh, it, it makes it a great uh, piece even just by itself. Even without the light on, you can see in there, it just, it just makes it that much nicer for when I have it on my stand. But let's say now I want to be able to use my blade. Now this blade's a little bit different than the last one that we reviewed. It. The last one, because it was an emitter, uh, it was basically just a tube that it showed into. This one is a bit different. As you can see, we have this end here. Now as you can see in here, uh, it's easiest with the lights on there. There's LEDs that are in there, but then there's also these little connectors. And those connectors will make contact uh, with this end. So no matter how I attach it, it's gonna make contact with those rings. I wanna make it nice and tight up against that. And then I really wanna tighten down these screws um, because if we're gonna be hitting anything with it, we don't want any chance it's gonna become disconnected from the blade itself and uh, turn off. So I officially have my blade here all assembled. And now when I uh, turn it on, uh, as you can see, it lights up really nicely. Now you'll notice there's only one button on here and, and regardless of that single button, we have multiple, multiple options and multiple controls, multiple things we can do with it. Just like with our other lightsaber, uh, we're gonna be pressing this uh, to have it flash. And so when I have it flash once, Volume low. Volume low. Mute. It mutes it. Volume high. So I'm going to leave it on volume high. Then if I let it flash two times, two. Counter ignition. It tells me different types of ignitions. But that's basically the way that it's going to start up. And so, for example, if, if I hit it right now, 
uh, it starts up like that. And by holding it down uh, for two flashes again, two, Press ignition. It, it can keep on changing what type of ignition I get. So I can get this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. This one. I mean, basically, you have multiple, multiple to try. It's a little hard because on, on the camera, it's hard to see uh, this very well. Uh, what I'm seeing is very different when, than what the camera's picking up. So that's two flashes. When pre holding it for three flashes, one, two, three, I change the way that the actual blade looks when it's turned on. For example, So yeah, so there's different effects basically the way that it looks when it's actually lit up. However, when I hold it down for four flashes while it's still turned off, two, three, four, Temple Guard. It'll give me the different blades or fonts as they call them. So this one would be Temple Guard. And sure enough, that's what it looks like. It looks like the Temple Guard saber. By the way, another way to turn on and off this saber is also like my other one, where uh, by pushing and turning it quickly, I can turn it on or turn it off. And there's several different lightsabers that you can choose from. One, two, three, four. So another thing I can do when the blade is turned on, it's hard to see, I see on, on this camera, uh, you can't see much of the color, you're just seeing the, uh, the whiteness of the light. Um, and it is lit up all the way out to the end of the blade. But as you can see here, uh, there, there is color. The other thing I can do when it's turned on is I can, I can hold down this button for two flashes, one, two, and, and this is like when you make contact uh, with another lightsaber, and by pushing the button again, it turns that off. Right now, when I strike my hand or anything, I, I get on different points of the blade, I'll have flashing. But if I want to turn that off, I can hold it down three, one, two, three. Now the flash is off, it won't do that. Uh, I could turn it one, two, three. Now it'll do it again. I can also, uh, if I want to deflect uh, shots, I can push the button a single time and uh, it will show like, like it's being hit. If I hold it down for three flashes, one, two, three. I can change the color of the blade. So one, two, three, there we go. Uh, another cool thing is if I push it like this, uh, just pushing it forward, it kind of also sends, it sends a pulse all the way out to the end. Kind of cool. And of course, when you turn it off, one, two, three, four, it retracts back inside. So here we have the emitter version, and then this one's the NeoPixel. And just an example, computer, turn off the lights. This is my other blade, uh, that is the emitter version. See how it's all lit up here, down here? And then this one 
is the NeoPixel. So you can see they're pretty different in their brightness and how thoroughly bright they are from bottom to top. So but at the same time, um, yeah, I, obviously NeoPixel definitely is a better light than the other. It's really versatile and, it, and it's very cool. Uh, I love the quality of the hilt. It looks great. Uh, it's nice and solid. It's all metal. Uh, again, it, it looks great. I'm not worried about it getting fingerprints like the other one did. Um, I, I'm sure that there's some way, if I really wanted to, that I could probably uh, take this piece out and, and maybe uh, look into being able to add more fonts, but um, I'm very impressed with it. I enjoy it quite a bit. So that's uh, that's the saber. It's very cool. Uh, whether you want to take the blade off, uh, which is a NeoPixel blade, like I said, or if you want to battle with it, uh, both are good. Um, as far as sound effects go and reactivity, it reacts well to my movements. It's pretty spontaneous. It's uh, it's accurate to the blade. I also think it's a great piece for just displaying. So now that we've reviewed it, let's look at ways to use it. How about some tricks? All I'm doing is I'm taking it from up here like this and I'm dropping my three fingers and then I'm letting the whole thing drop down like this letting it drop all the way like that so all it is is just going down like this and back up down like this and back up I'm trying to keep it as straight to the side as I can just like that and doing it as quickly as I can and if I want to come across it's just the opposite direction right so like this Okay. My left side is better though. So on left, left, and like that. So I'm just doing an eight in the middle, crossing across, coming back. It's really not too big of a deal, that one, right? Okay. There you go. And that one. Okay. Then there's this which is you're bringing it like this. By holding it down like this, what I'm doing is I'm just bringing it up and over, up and over as quickly as I can. I'm trying not to hurt myself. We can also do it backward like this. Like that. And that's where you can throw it up. Supposedly, here we go. Throwing it up. Yay! To learn more about N-Saber, be sure to check out the link below. Also, stay tuned for future lightsaber videos. Like, subscribe, comment below. This has been your Geek Face.